Are you guys more of a suburbanite, but you want the small town feel? Well, guess what? I got news for you. Cheyenne actually does have a suburb called the Ranchettes. And in 2019, it was voted the number one suburb in the whole state of Wyoming. Stick around today for this episode of Why Not Wyoming, where we explore some of the northernmost neighborhoods that make up this area called the Ranchettes in the north part of Cheyenne with my really good friend, Mariah Jeffries from Caldwell Bankers Property Exchange. Hey, thanks so much, Mariah, for joining me today. What's the first neighborhood that we're going to talk about? We're going to start talking about Mustang Ridge, which is one of the most luxurious neighborhoods in the north of Cheyenne. Here in Mustang Ridge, we have mostly high-end custom homes, and the sizes of the homes are typically 5,000 to 6,000 square feet, sometimes even larger. Wow, with houses that big, you must need a pretty good sized lot. Yeah, the lot sizes here in Mustang Ridge range from about 1.5 to 2.5 acres. Okay, that's pretty good size. Is there any unique architecture in the neighborhood? Absolutely. You know, the residents of Mustang Ridge often like to express themselves with the architecture of their home. <laughs> that's fun. We have a wide variety of architecture, ranging from the stately and subdued, such as this beautiful house behind us, to a few other unique homes that we have affectionate nicknames for. We have the Dog House, okay. and we have Cinderella's Castle. All right. Just to name a few. All right. The Dog House doesn't actually look like a dog house though, right? I'll let you be the judge. <laughs> All right, we're gonna grab some pictures of it so you guys decide, does it look like a dog house or is it pretty stately? We don't know. So, if you were looking at the dog house or Cinderella's castle or any other houses in here, what would you expect to pay? Well, on the low end in this neighborhood, a home might go for around 700000 for one of the smaller homes. On the high end, up to $2 million. Up to $2 million? Holy smokes, I'll bet you get a great view for $2 million. Oh, you absolutely get great views all over the neighborhood, some homes more than others. Okay, all right. What do you think is one of the drawbacks? Well, this area is a little challenging for outdoor enthusiasts because not only do we have an elevation of 6,200 feet, we have almost constant wind, <laughs> but we don't have any shoulders or sidewalks on the road, and we have no shade trees at all to protect us from the sun. So if you're thinking about moving to Cheyenne, that is something you want to know, whether you're down in the city or out here in the country, there are not a lot of really big mature trees or tree-lined roads like you might find back east. But what you do have is a lot of wide open spaces and no traffic. So even if you're stuck jogging outside on the road, you're not going to get hit by a car in this neighborhood. That is definitely a bonus. Oh, Mariah, there really are some nice houses over at Mustang Ridge. But what if you're looking for something that's even more rural? In North Star Ranch, the lot sizes are about 8 to 10 acres. Okay. And you can have all kinds of livestock there. You can have horses and chickens, whatever animals you want. I don't know why, but I'm thinking of alpacas for some reason. My wife really wants to get a flock of alpacas, folks. Wait for a video that shows a bunch of alpacas. But what if you want to go even further outside of town? Well, if you're willing to be a little further outside of town, and there's one neighborhood in particular called Bear Paw Ranch. It's got some very stately custom homes. The downside is you're going to have a bit of a drive, and you may have a challenge in the wintertime getting out. But what makes up for it is the views out that way. Oh yeah? Pretty splendid? Absolutely. Okay, Bear Paw Ranch everybody, you might not get your roads plowed, but you're going to love the views while you're snowed in. Wow, Mariah, it sounds like there's some really beautiful views out there in the country, but what if you want to be a little bit closer to town, what would your options be? Well, here we are really close to town in a neighborhood called The Point, just to the west of Powderhouse Road. So The Point is kind of a mixed use neighborhood. It has single family homes, condos, and townhouses, and even commercial right here. One of the benefits of the point is that it has these beautiful walking paths all throughout, beautiful landscaping of the kind, even a pond and a fountain. It's got two parks and a playground for kids, and they do all kinds of activities from a pumpkin patch to a garage sale for residents to participate in all throughout the year. So if you're a little more used to a suburban, you know, inner city kind of a thing, this might be a neighborhood that's a little more uh, well appointed with some of those amenities, but not quite as much space. Is that is that accurate? Definitely. So the lot sizes here, much smaller, around 0.2 acres, maybe a quarter acre would be a good lot size. Okay. Makes and the sense. homes range from about high 400s to low 800s here at the point. 
Okay, so Mariah, one of the things that we just learned yesterday with the Chamber of Commerce tour that we took is that there's a 55 and over community right here in the Point. Are you familiar with the villas at Cottonwood Creek? Oh, absolutely. Those are very luxurious, great option for our 55 and up residents of Cheyenne. Yeah, they're super quaint. They're like two bedroom, two bath. They have a garage. So if you're 55 and over and you want to live right here in Cheyenne, there's a place for you. It's just waiting to uh, have you reach out. So we can help you with that as well. All right, everyone, just to give you a little bit of an idea of where we're at, put this whole thing into context. The point where we are now, as I mentioned, is actually in the city limits of Cheyenne, which puts us at the uh, the farthest southwest corner of the ranchette. So I thought I would just kind of share with you some things that you might have seen in one of my other videos, which happens to be uh, our personal property. So our property uh, was built in 1968. It was one of the very first homes in the ranchettes when my wife's grandparents bought the land and had their home custom built uh, right up there on the hill. So that is the southwest corner of the ranchettes. It's actually in the county, not the city. So kind of gives you an idea of what we're talking about and where we're at. You might notice also that small barn up there on the hill. That's going to house all uh, our alpacas that I told you guys about earlier. My wife desperately wants a small herd of alpacas, maybe a horse or a donkey. But yeah, being able to take control of that property last year made us third generation Cheyenneers or Cheyenneites or Shanana fans. I, I don't know, whatever. So as you can see, everyone, the north end of Cheyenne and its now famous suburb, the Ranchettes, has a variety of communities. There's something that can attract everybody, especially if you're in the luxury home market. And what's really great is all of these things are really close to our historic downtown area or our main shopping venue on one of the main thoroughfares. You're literally one, two, three minutes away if you live over here in the Point or the south end of the Ranchettes, and at most you're 10 or 15 minutes away from shopping, restaurants, dining, all of that great stuff. So I really want to say thanks to my good friend Mariah for joining us from Caldwell Banker, the Property Exchange, sharing a little bit of information about these communities. I'm Stan, your mortgage man. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Why Not Wyoming. I look forward to sharing with you on our next video, uh, the south end of town and some of the communities that make up that half of the city. In the meantime, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like like my page, uh, like this video, share it with your friends. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me, phone, email, hit me up on my website, whatever's good for you. I'm here to answer your questions. Thanks and have a great day.